I want to welcome everyone uh, to the to the newly remodeled Hammond Boys and Girls Club, uh, part of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Northwest Indiana. Uh, I am Michael Simpson. I am the board chair for uh, BGCGNWI, as I like to put it on everything, because writing it all out starts to get really long. Uh, I want to thank all of you for being here for this ribbon cutting and grand opening of the facility that is uh, already has already for a while been benefiting uh, children here in Hammond, and it's very exciting and it's a very beautiful thing. But I want to thank all of you for taking time out to be with all of us. So without further ado, I will introduce our club's CEO, Ryan Smiley. Thank you, Michael. Hey, thank you all so much for being here today. Um, you know, this is a, a long time coming, quite honestly, uh, as a result of, of a couple of factors, but, but most importantly, what we've all been dealing with in, in this pandemic. And just want to frame it up a, a little bit for you to understand uh, what went into this project. Uh, this came to fruition because of a very special individual that saw a bigger vision and believed that the kids of Hammond deserved more. And, and this is what I call maybe a once in a career type of opportunity where you meet an individual that really buys into the bigger picture and wants the absolute best for kids in every single community. And as a result of that individual walking through this building, and telling me that uh, we've got to do something more. Um, her and her foundation, who will remain anonymous, put up a very generous challenge match. Uh, gave an outright contribution of a half a million dollars, and there was another half a million dollars if we could raise $500,000. Once those gifts were secured, there was another individual uh, within the municipality and, and an administration that I knew I had to talk to. Um, and this particular individual, like me, is a little bit competitive. And so I took him to uh, the East Chicago Club, which we had recently renovated, and showed him what we could do. And said, with your generous supports, we have a matching opportunity. And Mayor McDermott, generously contributed from the city of Hammond $400,000 of that $500,000. Uh, with that being said, I want to move quickly along here. Um, and in your program, you'll see the couple people that are going to say a few words. Um, so I will introduce a man who needs no introduction in this room, uh, Mayor McDermott. We're, we're being, you know, we're well gifted in Hammond lately. Obviously with what the Boys and Girls Club has done here, what the YMCA is doing in other parts of our city, the children of our city are, you know, have a great facility to go to and it's really important particularly in this area of our city. One more speaker in our program uh, today that I'd like to introduce, uh, Mr. Jeff Amy with Boys and Girls Clubs of America. He's our um, Director of Organizational Development and provides outstanding leadership and, and support to only a select few um, very special clubs uh, across the Midwest and us being one of them and uh, so great to have him here in person. Uh, we speak frequently but haven't seen each other in 16, 17 months, right Jeff? So, um, uh, Jeff Amy, Boys and Girls Clubs of America. You know, some people will say you've been around a while, Jeff, and I have. I was here when this building was dedicated, Mayor. I think early 1990, there was a guy by the name of Joe Lear. Joe actually became my boss at Boys and Girls Clubs of America. But there's a couple things when I was driving in from Chicago today I, I was thinking about. And when I think of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Northwest Indiana, there's a few words that come to mind. And Ryan, they're all good words. <laughs> but first is around assess, plan, and execute. We did an advance team here about three, four years ago, and I interviewed some of the members of the community. And they said, you know, we got to do something about the Hammond Club. And it all started about assessing, planning, and executing. And that's each and every one of you. But there's also a couple other words that I want to talk about that I think are more important. Relevancy, 
cooperation and collaboration, and a focus on mission around youth, families, and community. Relevancy, when I think of Boys and Girls Clubs when I started 100 years ago, it was wood shops, it was gymnasiums, and while some of that is still very relevant today, the world is changing. You see extra games, e-games, you see climbing walls, you see STEM programming. You've adjusted your program model to be relevant to the young people today. And Duane, as a leader of this site, you're blessed to be you know, that as a part of your facility. Um, lastly, I would like to introduce our, our club director here, uh, Mr. Dwayne Washington, who has stepped in and, and done an unbelievable job and, and will continue to do so as, as we evolve and, and serve youth. Um, thank you, Dwayne. Thanks a lot. It's great to uh, see everyone out um, on behalf of myself and the organization. Thank everyone. We just want to thank everyone again. Uh, you know, this moment for me is, is kind of full circle. Uh, I'm from this community. I grew up here. Uh, my mom moved us here uh, in 96, and uh, she needed some place for me and my brother to go. And she said, the neighbor down the street said, hey, why don't you send them to the Boys and Girls Club? And uh, that was 96. And, uh, you know, this place has been uh, producing uh, young, responsible citizens uh, for a long time. So I'm just happy to be a part of it. Um, we're doing some exciting things here um, in, the, in the club. We had a, we're coming off an awesome summer. Uh, we have over 150 registered, and then we're looking to take that momentum into fall. Um, you know, like Ryan said, we have a beautiful STEM lab, uh, teen center. Um, we're starting sports leagues here. We just came off of flag football. We're doing dodgeball in the fall. So, you know, stick around, look around, and uh, enjoy yourselves, and just thank you again. Okay. On three, you guys ready? Yeah.